So have you ever seen someone's profile photo and in the background, you can see the TEDx logo? And I thought, wouldn't that be cool to have that as your background? I thought maybe I could Photoshop it, but it would look better if it was actually real. And I actually ran into someone that is actually a two times TEDx speaker, uh, Maria Radish. Um, how are you doing? I'm great, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, tell me, if I wanted to become a TEDx speaker, where do I start? What do I talk about? Well, first of all, um, this is one of the things that I've noticed that a lot of people don't understand the difference between TED and TEDx. These are actually two different things. It's the same platform, but TED is the main organization and they run their conferences usually in US or Canada. It's very hard to get as a speaker on that stage and it's the most prestigious type of a TED talk. Uh, and TEDx uh, is local organizations. Those organizations that get licensed from the TED platform and they're on local events. Um, so it's also very, very prestigious and it's, um, you know, it's actually easier to get into because usually locally you have several TEDx organizations so you can fly to a few at once. Um, so that's the difference between TED and TEDx. Is it, is it hard to apply to or get accepted to, to speak at TEDx? It's easy to apply. <laughs> it would differ if you get accepted uh, because every team, so every year, um, every TEDx organization has a different team. And they decide what would be the overarching umbrella for that particular year. So you might have a really brilliant talk, but if it doesn't fall under that umbrella, you know, they, they're gonna have you in the database. They're not gonna say yes to you. So they have a clearer picture of what they want the event to look like and what they want content to be like um, and what the topics um, they want to be covered. So if your topic simply doesn't fall under that umbrella, you're gonna hear no. And, you know, they also consider other things. For example, some TEDx organizations, they specifically look for people who are already established, those who already have following on social media, because it would mean that it would be easier to sell tickets to their event. <laughs> but there are TEDx organizations that they want emerging uh, thought leaders. You know, they're looking for something really new, some, some fresh ideas, some new speakers. So, you know, it really depends. So there are other requirements that every team decides on. And once again, if you hear a no, please don't think that your idea is not worth spreading. It just means, you know, either it's not the right time or it's just not the right organization and just keep applying. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much for the tips.